up? What's up? What's up, you guys? What's up? How you doing today? It's your garden with Skinny Boy Randy. Oh my God. What is going on with my plants? If you're new to the channel, welcome to Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are always welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up, thumbs down, just not two middle fingers. Okay, okay. Thank you guys so much for being here. Also, click that bell. You'll get a notification every time I make a video. Leave a comment and share with all your social media. Check out my Facebook group, Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy. Also, Instagram and Twitter. Yes, you guys. Today, we're just going to dive right into this video. What is eating our plants? I know some of y'all going through this. Y'all see it? Y'all see it? We ain't got no money to be let these bugs eat up our plants that we took good time to, to grow and from seed and let them flourish and nourish. And look at it. Look at it. They just been munching and munching. Can I get a little closer? Just munching and eating and munching and eating. Yes, you guys. I'm quite sure some of you have this going on already. Those little white uh, butterflies come flying around. Those are not your friends. They will lay eggs up under the leaves, and as you can see, they will do some damage. But I'm going to show you some tips on how you can prevent the cabbage moth and other pests in different ways. I've never proclaimed to be an organic gardener. I ain't never went to organic school. But I'm just going to show you some different ways that I protect mine. Now, you see this one here has damage, and look at the one right next to it. No problem at all. Okay, this one was not treated. These were treated. Okay. So, we're going to dive right into the video. And we're just going to talk about some different ways that we can do some pest prevention in the garden. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Now, let me find a bud. So, yes, you guys. We are in one of my raised bed gardens. This is where my brassicas and some of my giant red mustards are. And as you can see, a lot of things have not been touched, but some things have. Look at that one right there. They had a field day with that one. And I know you're wondering, okay, Skinny Boy Randy, what can we do to prevent these bugs from munching on our food? There are several different ways, and we're going to talk about it right now. Okay, you guys, there are so many different pesticides that you can make, whether you're organic or non-organic. I've never professed to be organic, because I ain't never went to organic school. But yes, you guys, I'm just going to make a quick, short demonstration on three different types of pesticide control that you can keep the hornworms off of your plants. So let's just dive right into it. The first one is going to be for the organic gardeners. You just want to take a clove of garlic, and I just pulled this one up. I didn't want to do it, but I did it, y'all. Let me make sure I'm capturing this. Can I? Can y'all see that? Okay, I just pulled up one of my garlic plants. Oh, it kicked me to my heart, but no, it didn't because it's going to help me control those cabbage worms. So all I'm going to do is take this and make sure the camera is on the table so you guys can see what I'm doing. Can y'all see me? I'm just going to cut off this end here, the root, the root bulb. Put that right there. And then I'm just going to cut this like that. I'm going to save this, y'all. We're going to eat this. We ain't got no food to be throwing away. And all I'm going to do is just slice up my garlic. Just like that. It smells so garlicky because it's garlic. Just, just chop it up a little bit to break out all the flavor. Now, these little jars you can order. I have a 24-pack. And you just pop your garlic down in there like that. Okay. And to the garlic, we're going to add some onion. Just take a little piece of onion, maybe like that much. Slice it up to get out the flavor. Not that we're eating it, but we want all of the aroma to come out, okay? And key, hot pepper, whatever you have, cayenne, crushed red pepper, hot pepper, whatever you have. Put that in there, y'all. Lots of hot, 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 hot. Okay, and these are going to keep those cabbage worms off of your plants the organic way. Okay, and then we're going to use a little vinegar. Okay, 
Okay. So, so far, we have garlic, onion, and vinegar. All right. And to that, we're going to add a tap of dish soap. Whatever kind you have. That's a tap of dish soap. And then we're going to add some water. And I have some rain water that I save. I'm just going to use my other jar to collect some rain water. Pour it in like that. The wind is blowing. Okay, you guys. And then we're going to use a tap of peroxide. Oh, this is a brand new bottle. I'm sorry, you guys. Just a tap of peroxide into our mixture. Yep, just a few drops. Lid on, shake it all up, and this is what it looks like, okay? So you have your garlic, your onion, your hot pepper, your peroxide, and your vinegar, and water. Then I'm just gonna take this, put my little funnel there, and pour it into a spray bottle. And just let it drain through. Because those onions and everything will not be in the water. Because we chopped them so fine. I mean, not so fine, but yeah. Okay. Pour some back in here. And then you can just pour some in there with your hand. Without the funnel. Because the onions and all that good stuff. We'll clog it up. Put your lid on. And then you want to spray, spray your plants top and bottom with this, okay? Top and bottom. Want to make sure we get it squirting. Okay. Well, if it doesn't squirt, you know what I mean. So that's how you make your organic. Okay, now let's talk about using the BT. A lot of people talk about using BT. And this is a pest prevention formula that makes the cabbage worm think that they're full. So they will eat this and then they won't eat anything else. They'll be full. They'll think they're full. But yeah, this is for the non-organic gardener, okay? So all you want to do with this is get you some water. For one jar of water, I'm going to add a pour. <laughs> I don't know how you want to measure it, but I just call it a, a pour. Just like that. And see what that looks like? That turns it green. This is thir thericide another form of BT and with that with that little drop you want to mix that in and this is what it looks like and you would pour that into the the spray bottle a different spray bottle or if you want to mix them together you can do that as well and then you want to spray this on top and bottom of your plants another quick and easy way is the fruit and vegetable control you want to make sure you mix it up very well A jar, water, and then a pour. That's all. You don't have to measure anything out or anything like that. And this you can put on your plants all the way up until the day of harvest. Mix it up like that and you would pour it into the spray bottle. Okay. Now when you want to get into talking about the uh, fungi and preventing mold and all those type of things all you want to do is mix a little baking soda and peroxide baking soda and peroxide will kill a lot of your fungi peroxide is meant to kill germs so if you want to mix your peroxide with one jar of water and a pour of peroxide 
you can do that. Or if you want to mix the peroxide and baking soda together with a full jar of water, a, a tablespoon of baking soda, and a two tablespoons of peroxide, that will work as well. And I also throw some dishwashing liquid in there. That helps keep the insects and pests away from your plants. So I hope this helps you out just a little bit, you guys. Don't forget, click like and subscribe. Did I say subscribe? Oh, subscribe. <laughs> and live, love, laugh. Grow stuff and eat it. You guys are the best. I love you. Thank you so much. Yes, you guys, the cabbage worms are out. Let me move the camera and show you. You see these? Non-treated. And these were treated. You can see the ones that were treated. They have no holes, no pests. And the ones that were not treated... Some of the slugs and different things got a hold to it. So you want to spray the leaves up and down. Look for the little white dots on the bottom of your leaves. Look for those little white butterflies flying around. And you can prevent a lot of the pest control. A lot of the pests from controlling your garden. Because we want to control our garden. Because we ain't got no money to let the pests eat up our food. Okay, okay. Thank you guys so much. I hope this helps you out just a little bit. Love you.